Good evening, my dear children of the night. <laughs> I am Bobby Gamonster, internet horror host, and along with my Hinchbird, mm -hmm. Boris T. Buzzard. Welcome to Monster Movie Night. <laughs> I say, Boris, have you been filtering through the vaults and finding in anything interesting this evening? Hmm? You have? Hmm. So, what would that be? Hmm? Hmm. Can you tell me? Really? Excellent. What's it more? Oh my, thank you. Excellent, excellent. I see that you have found an early classic of Sir Christopher Lee himself. Hmm, in a tale of nightmares of vampiric families. Hmm? Mm hmm, that's right. Uncle was a vampire. What a delicious sounding film. <laughs> so, dear minions of the night, get ready and let's go to our feature film, Uncle Was a Vampire. Priceless now. Be careful, no one disturbs it. I want it to go this way. Don't worry, we'll put a special label on it. Oh, and don't expose it to broad daylight. The sun can cause it great damage. My dear sir, we have so many tunnels, it'll never see daylight. Senor Baron, all of your instructions have been followed. I did what I could. Eh? It was my duty, Baron. Pardon? Oh, yes, Baron. It does appear that your only hope is this last nephew, young Countess Valto, residing in Italy. Yes, sir, I know. His castle couldn't be as gloomy as the one that was destroyed, but I'm told that the climate will suit you there. Have a very good trip, sir. And at last, your Baron, may I commit suicide? <laughs> Thanks. Can one say this was really living, sir? Ah! Don't come to the train! What happened? 
just threw himself under the wheels. che non desti e le parole che non mi dicesti amore mio dimmelo con un fiore che tu mi vuoi baciare dimmelo Proceed. All right. Please, be seated, gentlemen. It being agreed, I, Baron Osvaldo Lombatengi, shall now present my castle to the Hotel Corporation Atlas, represented in the person known to me as Commander Fortini, for a sum totaling 80 million lira. Hmm. Now, will you please sign both contracts, Baron? Yes, Commander. The last two acts in a personal tragedy. Adio, my ancestral homeland. Now that you have bought the castle, you can do whatever you please. Make it into a frivolous, silly hotel. And now, sir, I have already written the check. Will you pass it on? Certainly. Oh, yes, 80 million lira. It's all right. Yes, sir, that check will cover in full your debt to the treasury. Only 80 million lira? And the whole thing has been settled, Baron. Right. But I'm not settled yet. How am I going to live? Ah, but there you have no worries. Our director has been told about the whole matter, Senor. As director, allow me to offer you this position on the staff of our newest hotel, Baron. One that has importance and shall be most in accordance with your own worth and obvious merits. A bit tiring, perhaps, but... Don't you worry now, dear Baron. This position has dignity, and though you may have to work, 
We know you'll find it rewarding and fun, too. Bellhop! Uh, Guests arriving! I'm hurrying! Welcome to our hotel. Good morning. Uh, good morning. We telephoned you before from Milan. Your commander, Viznaki. Bravo. I'll see about your rooms. All right, sir? Fine. Uh, tell me, Carlotta, does this place suit you all right? It just opened, you know. Aren't the grounds here beautiful? It's an authentic castle. Hey, you should be amused here. Well, I would imagine the ghosts in it are diverting anyway, Papa. Carl, don't be rude to your poor father. All day you haven't said a word or had a bite to eat either. Oh, leave me in peace, will you? Don't watch me. Why must you keep watching? You're always at me, what I eat, what I wear. Go uh -huh. here, go there. It's making me sick. I could suffocate. What's more, staying here won't make me forget my darling Victor. You're mistaken. Uh -huh. You and she. Ah, uh -huh, I see. The world well lost for love, huh? You said it, senor. The world is well lost for love. Say there, just bring up our baggage. And don't listen in while you do it. Oh, what a nerve, huh? Incredible. Come on, Aditya, let's go up. I'm sorry. I spoke without meaning to, like an idiot. Listen, hmm? you really are kind. Do help me, will you? Yes. I must send this telegram. A message to him? Yes. Mm. Take this. Ah, Lampetegui, take money? I couldn't. I think you're very nice. Thank you. Bye now. Elhan! Elhan! Yes, sir. Hurry! There are more guests around. It never rains, but it pours. Here you, Bella. <laughs> I'm sending all of our luggage and things right upstairs, because you know what we're going to do right now. <laughs> Let's all go up and take a rest for a while. Oh, no, I'm staying here. I want to stay and take a set of photographs first. Oh. I want to, too. Take a picture of us, will you, darling? Come on. these ideas from? Listen, you, you're the one who found them, right? Well, yes. Then why didn't you tell them what this trip was about? I did. Why did you have to pick on photography things? Oh, they're models, man. No other girls. Let's not worry. Yeah, but why are sweets so cold? Are you sure we're all set? You'll see. Well, these cold dames that drink will always do it. Watch them melt. They'll soon be seeing bats. What do you mean, bats? That's what I said. You buy two drinks. When the bats start flying, you just grab for yours. <laughs> right. I remember the atmosphere at the castle. Over the weekend, is this place restful and quiet? Oh, yes, very quiet. Why is it that you're wearing such funny clothes, Baron? My dear Lelina, I've taken the, uh, the bellhop's place here. Oh, no. Mm. I'm in yes. trouble, too, Baron. What is it? You're not crying. I may not stay at the castle, sir. But they can't fire you. Who said so? The director did. He just told me that I must leave here because they can't use a gardener that's not a company. Man. Mm. What a rat, Lily. I'll trounce that Don't villain. Don't fight, sir, please. I hmm. shall go. There are other gardens to tend, I'm sure. Now, Lilina, don't despair. There are other gardens, yes, but gardeners like you, mm, you're the finest. Listen, your family has tended the grounds near my castle for a hundred years now. Why there? How well I remember your mother planting apple trees. There, your Uncle Antonio planting acacias. And over there, your brothers, moaning and groaning because my father couldn't pay their salaries. Still, it blew over. They were fond of me. We always got along. 
No, no, Lilina. Too many memories, too much of the past holds you here. You mustn't leave the castle. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. You got this letter in the mail, Senor Baron. Thanks. I brought it along because I knew I'd see you. Dear, dear, what's this? The taxes were paid. They know I'm broke. The family line is now defunct. My dear nephew. Well, they're not all defunct, are they? Your uncle Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo. I can't think. The letter's written in Bramford. Oh, Rodrigo de Bramfurton, in Carpathia. Let's see now, he says, on our next little trip, I'll be spending most of my time at your castle where I'll get to know, know and embrace you, my only descendant and heir. Heir? Well, what do you know? I've a rich uncle. How wonderful, yeah. Baron. Don't call me Baron. Call me Osvaldo. Oh, I'm so used to Baron. A rich uncle. You must be so happy today, Baron. But think of yourself, Lily. All our worries are over. Now you may stay on with us and do the work you like. You may tend my flowers. I want you here beside me. Oh. Wait a moment. <laughs> or oh, it's more here. You will see me soon. You'll get a steamer trunk. Do be careful. Seems to me he knows. He's found out I do bellhop's work. How do you suppose he heard what I was doing? Where is Uncle's baggage? Is this the one? Who knows? It might be. Uh, let me see. Wait, Lily. This must be Uncle's. Look here. Sent express to Baron... Hmm. Osvaldo Lambertangi. I've got to put it in my room. It's the only way. I'll be fired if the director sees me. Mm -hmm. Help me. I wonder what's in it. May I have a light? I think this place is very nice. It's, what's the word? Very original. What's that word? I must know what it is. Paolo, uh, where are dead people? Uh, a crypt. Tomb or a crypt? Ah, yes, that's what it is. Beautiful, isn't it, darling? <laughs> <laughs> but say, aren't you afraid with all these dead men around? No. Not me. I'm not either. Of course. I know there's been a famous ghost here. You better watch out or the girls will get frightened. Oh, but hey, watch your hands Say, now. stop it now. You're drunk. I think it's a terrible thing oh. like that. Can you imagine? Paolo. Why, it's easy, old man. They'll have a drink and brother will lay melt. They're going to see bats around here. Don't worry, you said. <laughs> Any ideas? They're drinking. Both of them. But nobody's seen any bats around here. They'll come. Take it easy. Wait till it hits. And boy, yeah, the minute all those bats are flying, you grab yours. And there we are. Barman, another round here. Hey, did that train come in? Yes. Strange, he wrote that he's arriving at midnight. Did he miss it? Hey, you. You must have other trains from Germany. Look it up, will you? Were you calling, hey, you? I'm not the bellhop here. I'm not taking any lip. You need a thrashing, sir. Aren't you afraid? Hmm? Ah, oh, clear out. Here's our guest. Good evening. Peter. I, sir, have traveled around Germany. It was a frightfully long journey and also very beautiful. To be frank, I'm weary. I want a good bed. I must rest a while. I have already expressed all my baggage. It's Uncle. It's Uncle Rodrigo at last. Oh, what a time I had waiting, longing to see your face. It's Osvaldo, your nephew Osvaldo. It's Osvaldino. <laughs> What's this? A pachuk? What a nerve. You get out of here and fast. You're no nephew of mine and you know it. I'm your Osvaldo, please, sir. No. But aren't you the Baron Rodrigo de Bramfurt? No. You are addressing Professor Stricker. De Bramfurt? No. Professor Hans Stricker of the University at Düsseldorf. Well, near Bramfurt? No. Uh, will you excuse him, sir? He's new here. You. Better get the professor's luggage. I know he's my uncle. That's what he said, sir. I mean, he's a traveler. You've been in Germany, right? Yeah. Germany, huh? Yeah. Well, sir, as my uncle has Teutonic blood, too, I thought that... Bring the professor's luggage, will Not you? Not this bag, sir. 
He yes. wants to do In it. In this valise are yes. all my pajamas, and I want ah. to go to bed. Go upstairs, close the door, and go to bed in peace. There. Yes, sir. We've reserved a suite for you on the third floor. It's room 111, sir. Fine. Thanks. Let this gentleman see suite 111. And be sure no one wakes me. I want to go to bed. Don't call me. Not even at noon, sir? No. No, I tell you no. And when I've said no, it's no. Oh. What's the matter with you? Oh, please, sir, excuse me. I thought that fellow was my uncle. I know he intended to pay us a visit. He says so. Oh, what other trains come in from Germany? No incoming trains after 12. Oh. What am I going to do? Midnight already and Uncle Rodrigo hasn't arrived. <laughs> Arriving midnight, he says. Still, he didn't come by railroad. Maybe he's going to drive here. Oh, boy. I wish I knew what this uncle looked like. But I've forgotten, though. I wish there was a photograph. Oh, well. Better go to bed. Rodrigo? Is it you? <laughs> for a moment there, well, it was only for a moment, Uncle. Well, I was afraid. I come in here and and I see a guest who's eight feet tall in here and... I don't understand. How did you arrive, Uncle? That is not important. Right, it isn't. But I wondered if you felt all right. You look a bit fagged out to me. That does not concern you. Mm, no. <laughs> That's very funny, Uncle. I thought you'd turn out to be very old. May I please ask what your age is? You may. I am very old. Oh, you look great for an old man. It must be your class breathing always tells. <laughs> it's a question of blood. <laughs> Uncle Rodrigo, why are you angry? Did I offend? Yes. What did I do wrong? All I said was that blood will tell. Silence. Uncle, don't get angry, please. I wanted to talk things over, but you're a bit touchy. And where are my bones to rest, please? May I speak then, Uncle? Well, look, the way things are, I wish it could be different, but we're using all our beds. How would you like to sleep in mine? After all, I can sleep anywhere, Uncle. Silence. I've done it again, haven't I? Yes. I don't know what to do. Oh, yes, to you the cot looks short. <laughs> but as for me, it's too long. So will you take a chance on it? Well, you know nothing about my habits. Mm. Well, habits, Uncle. Habits are easily lost. How well I know that. In your castle, there was a crib. A family too. I don't know what you mean. You want me to fix your bed in the tomb? Where is it? Crypt? No, it's empty now. They transformed it into a bar. Into what? A new bar. Uncle, you must hear me out. It's been dreadful for me here. Such changes you can't imagine. I wish it was only the crypt, but it isn't. It's only the crypt that interests me. Listen, Uncle, I don't know what you mean any longer. Do you prefer a cot or to stay in the crypt? Tell me, what do you want, huh? 
Come here. I don't want to. You must help me. You are the remaining member of the family. Yes, yes. Listen, of course I want to help you, but if it's cash, you have to have... Mm -hmm. That's the one thing of which I have no need. I'm so glad for you. I really do want to help you, but I'm in a jam and I can't do it. And that's the truth. And so am I. Your home's your own. I sold this castle and strangers own it. That's what a spot I'm in. But I need the crypt. Oh, 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 that crypt. You're getting a fixation, Uncle. Why, I tell you, they've made a bar downstairs. I must go there and quench my thirst. Ah, you might have said so. If that's all you want, you can stop worrying. I put away a few bottles for an emergency. <laughs> I've got uh, cognac, whiskey, vodka, sherry. I've got everything. Take your choice. I've been keeping it for a special occasion. And tonight's the night to celebrate. <laughs> Here, Uncle. I'll open this bottle for you. Be careful, Uncle. Listen. Are you crazy? What are you trying to do there? Listen, Uncle. Where are you going? Hey, Uncle. The white box. here in a trunk that belongs to my uncle. And look at all the jewels and the gold. He's a murderer. He's killed someone. And while he's wandering about the castle, the body lies up here. I'll open it. Because I must find out who it is. Oh, but I'm so scared of bodies. I'm so scared. Now oh, it's open. This. this belongs to Baron Rodrigo. Let's see. It's written by hand. It's Uncle's diary. Ich bin vampir... <gasps> a vampire? <gasps> oh, not a vampire. But he's my uncle. He's dead. The body was his. And with my uncle wandering about the place, someone will tell the director. I must catch him in person. Yes, I'll have to. I must, otherwise I'll risk dismissal. Very good, Osvaldo. to find out. He could be any place. What does it say? The whole thing's in German. It's probably the key. Now what'll I do? I've got to find someone who speaks it, that's all. I have an idea. Hmm. I'll get the professor to read it.
Interesting, just translate a bit. No, no, I must rest. I've got to. Please, sir, you can rest tomorrow. Be nice and translate this book. Now, look, what's this? You were telling me before that all vampires have no fears and superhuman strength to boot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But. But all vampires hate a cross. They know a cross will mean the power is gone. Tell me, shall we use it? Oh. Oh, please, sir, I must know the type of cross. Do look it up, will you? Oh, he's not poor. He's famous. He's the man for me. And Victor has proposed to me besides. I see. And on the day you do marry Victor, I'd be delighted to bash in his head for it. Because no ne'er-do-well who sings for his supper is going to marry my daughter. You hear me? I'll break his head for him. And when I do, you'll see how empty it is, too. Now I've said all I'm going to say about this matter. So let that be the end of it. But are you certain that when the cock crows, our vampire is sure to disappear? Yeah. Then all we need to catch our vampire is first a cross. Yeah. Then garlic, that's two. Yeah. And by driving a stake through him, he's destroyed. Yeah. And the force, the cock. And now I shall be going. Ah. Oh, yes, before I go, what type of cock, sir? Ah. A moment. Yes. Bitter, sir. Is it a cock, sir? Will you open it? Why, surely. Oh. Get out. No point in staying. So, cross, garlic, steak, cock. Cross the garlic, the steak, the cock. Good night. It's growing lighter now. And Uncle will soon be here. And so, as you'll be thirsty then, your loving nephew Osvaldo is preparing a brew that any vampire uncle is sure to like. So don't be late, sir. What a surprise, huh? Finding breakfast waiting for you? Yeah. Pretty strong. I'm so sorry, sir, really. I mean, Is that so you stand. have with? You did it on purpose, imbecile. No, no, no. My flit comes for the moth. Uh, so it's moth hunting, is it, Rummy? It's about time you knew I was your director, not a No, 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 no. And no. why did you go no, up and I disturb couldn't. a client during the night? Uh, you uh, better Ma. watch it or the board is going to Ma. fire you. You'll be given notice. You think I'm a fool? I warned you now. Oh, You've got one no, more chance. Wait. One more I chance. Tell I want... It's all your fault, Uncle. Yeah. Director! Director, sir! Please don't be... 
be angry with me. I put this rope around me and climbed down here to get these herbs. As Mother Nature herself put them here for us, how can we waste them, sir? And I tell you, nature can often make some bad mistakes. You were born a baron and ended up a bellhop. Throw that stuff away. You hear me? Oh, please, sir, don't shout at me. If this rope goes, I may plunge to my death down there. There's been a tragedy in the family, sir. I've lost my only uncle. Please give me the day off. I must save the hotel. What's your uncle's funeral got to do with the hotel? I'm sick of listening to your excuses. Get to work. I mean it now. Go on. Wait, director. Don't leave me all alone here. Director. Now, who mentioned funerals, sir? Why, today, all these cadavers, they travel in trains wherever they want to. March right into the house without an invitation. Oh, oh Baron. Oh. All right, the director's gone away now. Oh, oh Lilina. Just hold on. I'm so glad to see you. Help me. Pull with your help. I can do it. Don't let go. Pull. Pull. There. Pull. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, thank you, Lily. You saved my life, you know. That big shot director. What I wish that man for what he's doing to me. You'll get his. Thanks again, Lily. You're very pretty. Yes, really pretty. Don't go away from me ever. Without you here, I couldn't. Oh, but wait a minute. I better remember my uncle likes pretty girls. Oh, but that's marvelous news. Your uncle did arrive last night then. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, finally. I I'd like to welcome your visitor, senor. Where is he? Yes, where? I haven't the slightest idea. He's certainly not in his room. But... But wasn't he tired after the journey? Tired? Uncle? Uh, you don't know him, my dear. Why, he's a devil. A devil? I'll trap him with a garlic. But I... Garlic? Baron, why are you putting garlic on the windowsill? Never mind. Anyway, it's decorative. But if you want to decorate them, you'd better put flowers on the windows, not garlic. This is so much prettier. I wish I had more. <laughs> I wouldn't bother for anyone else. This is only for my uncle. Mm -hmm. I know what he likes. Leave it to me. The odor is a bit strong. The stronger, the better. Here, Lily, take this. Wear it this way around your neck. Don't lose it now, will you? He really likes all this garlic? It seems he does. It'll make him feel welcome. But I must ask you something. Promise me, Lily. Promise me you won't take it off, and I'll put you on your honor. But I smell of garlic. Oh, what's the difference? It's a lovely odor. Why, Uncle's crazy about it. He adores it. And to tell the truth, so do I. <laughs> Did you know that? Huh? <laughs> there. That's not very nice, Shh. Aunt. Shh. I'm following the book. It says, rub it on, rub it on, rub it on. Never stop just like this. <laughs> Please, sir. I think that the tension is affecting your nerves and, and that you ought to get some mm. rest. No, no, no. I assure you my nerves are quite all right. Don't worry. What we need is a cross. There. That's your cross. That's my cross. And yours again. And mine too. But it spoils the looks of the castle riding on that nice fresh wall. See? <laughs> Yes, seems to me it's very pretty. <laughs> and when Uncle arrives, will he be surprised? Yes. I'll fetch him now. Please be good and promise me something first. Please don't touch the crosses or the garlic either. I'll be right back. Poor fellow, the Baron has gone mad. Unless you fellas start behaving properly, I'm leaving you. We like our men romantic and sentimental. Yeah. Well, that's how we are. We're very romantic guys. It's uh -huh. all because he wanted beer. I see. Anna. Shall we tell them it's okay? I feel they'll behave all right. Hmm? <laughs> all right. You're both forgiven. <laughs> all right, Paula. How about it, huh? Telegram? What's the matter? Oh, nothing now. I was lonely when I said it. There was a quarrel last night. 
I listened to one of your new records, Papa found out, and he was furious. Oh, I am sorry. Darling, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Victor, it's just awful here. Quarreling with Papa, knowing we have to use a subterfuge. Listen to me, Angel. Say we'll run away. Oh, please. Run away? Do you realize what that means? But that'd be better than the way things are. Now, Victor, please, I want to do what's right. Say we'll run away. Make it this evening, darling, won't you? But we can't. Your father will never stand for it. He'll call the police. People would talk, Carla. Don't be silly, Victor. I want nothing. Hiding, Uncle. And how will you get out of it? Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> Amal One Eleven's calling for his beer now. This isn't room service, it's a bar, so don't bother me. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. But as you're busy, I'll bring it to him. Say, One Eleven's a pretty good tipper, you know? Yesterday, when I brought up his valise, I saw him operate. By just for raising his window, I got a tip. And when he asks for a boy, you bet I hop it. That beer will pay off. Are you a bellhop or a waiter these days? I think I ought to take this up. Oh, but I didn't want you to... I found you. You terrified me, Uncle. Look at him, sleeping like a child. To kill vampires, you have to hammer a big stake through their heart. I hope you'll pardon me, Uncle, but there really is no way out for you. I think we'll serve dinner out on the terrace tonight. So, dear jury ones, hmm? enjoying tonight's feature film, Uncle Was a Vampire? How about you, Boris? Enjoying it so far? Hmm, so am I. Reminds me of the family back in Transylvania, the old days, when we were all romping around in the cave along with uh, the bats and the wolves. <laughs> Such wonderful ideas and feelings back then that we all had as a family unit working together. You know, tonight's feature, Uncle Was a Vampire, starring not only Sir Christopher Lee, but also Renato Raskel, Sylvia Cosina, and Leah Zappelli. It, you know, tonight's feature was one, the very first vampire film ever f made in Italy. It was also Christopher Lee's first entry into the, uh, into the Italian film production. So that was an interesting tidbit, you know. Along with that information, I also brought from our museum, Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum, some uh, artifacts on vampires, uh, such as our coffins. These little boxes, coffins that is, with our wonderful vampires from the very first vampire, the Nosferatu, to Dracula himself in these wonderful little tchotchkes of uh, the vampire lore. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful little creatures? And you can see these as well here at Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum. <laughs> we also have um, a book of vampirology that studies vampires in their, their lair and also in film making. Uh, one of the very first films about vampires was the 1920 uh, film Nosferatu. It was in fact 
a film supposedly about Dracula, but uh, Bram Stoker's widow wouldn't release the rights, so uh, Murnau, the movie uh, director, producer, he decided to go ahead and make the film, but not call the main character Dracula. Instead, he called him Count Orlok. Uh, and playing that particular role back then was Max Schreck. Mm -hmm. And you can find that and all sorts of uh, tidbits about vampires in the book Vampirology uh, here in our museum. With that, let's go back to tonight's feature film and favorite with Sir Christopher Lee and the horror comedy, Uncle Was a Vampire. Let's go. And I prefer to have it served at eight sharp, understand? Very good, sir. Now you may go. Wait a moment. Bellboys aren't allowed in the bar. I, I just took a beer. I felt very hot, so... I see. At the bar, you came in here to quench your thirst? Well, what did you expect? A bar is for beer. It's for the gas, not bellhops, clown. Get out of here. Yeah, but... Uh, I tell you, if I see you yeah. down here instead of upstairs working, I'll fire you. Your beer, sir. What beer? I don't want any beer. I was trying to get some rest, and I have to get some soon, you imbecile. You will answer for this. Beer! You drink it! I don't want it! Where's Uncle? How are you, nephew? P -p -p pretty well, Uncle. What have you got in your hand? <laughs> That's my wedge. You see, the bar's old, and I was going to measure for a new one, but, but it's not important. Liar. Who read my book? You have discovered my secret. I know what you are planning. There is only one way to silence you. Don't kill me, please, Uncle. We are related. You wouldn't murder your own kin. I shan't kill you. Oh, I'm glad. I'll do worse. Mm -hmm. It was done to your uncle by... Mm -hmm. Agilulfo de Bramforten. Mm -hmm. 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I see. Agilulfo de Bramforten was a relative. Mm -hmm. It was a terrible night out. I went down to the mm. cellar mm. to fetch me a bottle of Rhine wine. Mm. I opened the door mm. and I saw... Nigelo for the Bramford. No. Mm. His coffin first. No one was in it. Mm. It was empty, Osvaldo. Then I saw... Nigelo for the Bramford. No. <laughs> I saw a cat. A black cat. It flew from me in fear. And the bat. Yes, a dreadful thing. And the cat and the bat began to eat each other. Then I saw. Adjelul for the Bramford. Yes. So it was he. Yes. Mm. But it was not he. Mm -hmm. Another guy, huh? It was a vampire. The first in our family. Oh. 
Such blood will run. I will drink till I run over. You shut up, Screech Owl. I'll take a bite of you first. <laughs> Not bad, eh? <laughs> oh, I like this transformation, see? With my black hair and long black cloak, as well as longer teeth and pallor like death. Oh, it's all wrong, but I'm still short, huh? Hmm, flowers. What nice flowers. Ah, yes, now I remember her. Yes, she'll be first. I'll go and bite Lily now. <laughs>
telegram. And it's most urgency, Lenina. you were tired. And why are you dressed? It's new. I wanted to see how it fits, that's all. With an open door? Oh, I felt hot, so I opened it. I know what you were doing all right, daydreaming. And looking at a picture of that man. I'm sure you're waiting for the phone to ring. I'm not. I swear it. That's so? Very well. I trust you. But to please me, I want you to sleep in that room tonight. I will take your room for tonight. And when that crooner telephones, he'll tell me what he wanted. Go on, you heard what I said. Go on, All right, go on. Mama. I'm going. Good night. Uh-huh. Good night. And tomorrow I'll talk to your father. Mama came in and I couldn't escape. I thought you'd never make it. I'm here, though. Let's hurry. Wait, Carla. Do you realize what you're doing? Of course, darling. You won't be sorry? I won't. Carla? What is this? Well, we... I... Look, Mama, we... You were running away, weren't you? Ah, yes, it's natural. Oh, how I envy you. I was always romantic. I think we complicate things. It's better to be loved than to be lonely. But, Mama, I don't understand. A moment ago, you said, Oh, Papa will be mad. Papa? Ah, yes, Papa. You mustn't worry about that. I will convince him. You'll be married soon. I know it will be all right. Go and get some rest. Everything will work. Arrange it. Are you serious? Why, certainly. Oh, thanks, Mama. You're a wonderful mother, right? Oh, indeed you are. It's getting so late. You two shouldn't be up so late. You must get your rest. All right. <laughs> Mr. 
My door will be unlocked. Oh, wait. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, come on, it's late. Yes, right there. You'll wait. <clears throat> Good night. <sighs> You? They're not so bad after all. <laughs> you see? No bats are needed. Just be sentimental. True. <laughs> they were so nice, weren't they, Susan? Oh, yes. <laughs> Here, Victor. Who is this fellow, my dear? May I present Victor, Carla's fiance. Are you mad, Leticia? Oh. If you like. Believe me, this is the first happiness I've had. Why can't you be friendly with Carla's fiance? I think you've been drinking too many martinis. You're out of your head. I want him out of here. Now, come on, no, now, out. Victor, I mean it, out. Stay with us, near your mother-in-law. What'd you say? And if you don't behave, I'll put an end to our dull and unhappy marriage. You'll have to listen now, Luigi. I want to see Victor and Carla married once. Aha, threatening me. But remember what we both agreed on, Letty. You want her to marry this clown who has to sing for his supper? You forget, sir, I'm an artist. An artist? You've got to... Just give him a chance. Tell him who I am, will you? Uh, he has courage, that boy. He fights hard. They will marry. Letty, you're quite sure there's nothing the matter? Please don't worry. You'd be surprised to know how well I feel, my dear. I sleep so well at night here. Oh, what wonderful air. Hmm? Mama! Good Lord. I went to sleep in Uncle's coffin. Then where can Uncle be? His black cloak. What's going on? Calm down. Calm down and recapitulate, boy. First, I looked for Uncle. One stake and one hammer. That's easy. Then I opened the tomb and Uncle was gone. That's right. So far, so good. Then I heard a voice and... Behind me stood... The vampire. Ah, yes, of of course. Wait a minute. He bit my neck. Hmm. Ah. The signature of Uncle Rodrigo, eh? Yes. When he bit me, he acted a little mad. I wonder if I need a rabies shot. Oh, why worry? Mind you, it was only a vampire. <laughs> and what did I do then? I don't know if I'm a vampire then or not. I don't recall. After a few hours, I gave up waiting. No dame is worth it. I really suffered. In pajamas, those halls are very damp. You too? Hey, we better settle this. Who's paying for this weekend? Listen, you brought them up here, didn't you? Yeah, but... Kay, Susan, mm -hmm. darling. What is it? Yeah, you tell us. I don't know what's wrong here. Well, we want to clear things up, Kay. We have nothing to say to each other, Nino. 
Let us alone, Paolo. Oh, where do you think he went, Susan? I do go for that guy. Oh, he is wonderful. He really makes other men ridiculous. Oh, please, I don't want you along. <gasps> Certainly, miss. You, oh. You mean me, Osvaldo? Yes. Uh, another telegram, ma'am? Do you suppose anybody would tell my father? Don't you worry, miss. I would never say a word. Uh, would you sign for these telegrams? What a thing to say. <clears throat> when I'm ready to die of love for you, my darling. <laughs> There's some mistake. There's no mistake, dear. I know who you are. Oh, of course. Yes, this castle was mine once. But even though I have to wear this uniform, I... I know all. All? Yes. Come. Where? There. Over there, huh? where nobody can find us. Why, oh, you're marvelous, darling. Will you let me thank you for last night? Last night? Yes. Oh, oh, not my neck again. The mark there is yours, darling. Why hide it? Oh, my word, I did it. Excuse me, I have to leave. You can't. Someone wants me over there. I'm afraid I'd better leave oh, now. Please, one bite on the neck. You must do it. It's sort of early in the day, isn't it? You've got to do it. All right, all right. Don't get angry. See, I'm ready when you are. You have a lovely neck. You want it the same place? Yes. yes? <laughs> now, close your eyes. Uh, you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ready. No, my dear. I made it plain I'm not at all interested in this fellow. But look, I'm not poverty stricken. I'm earning enough. Hey, what did you say? You'll never make anything with your little songs. I'll have you know that my little songs have brought me several million lira. Million, huh? Huh. Why, the last one I wrote, called the Okie Dokie Calypso, paid oh. me over half a million per day. Oh, my goodness. Say that again. Will one you? song earned half a million per day. Oh, half a million. Hey, you there. Yes? Have you seen Professor Strike? He's out on the lake now. Thank you. Where are you going? To the professor. But he's sleeping, and he said he didn't want to be disturbed. Ah, uh -huh. then it's time he was. <laughs> Uh, 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 professor, uh, what is it? Wake up, Professor. Oh, uh, it is you again. Oh, uh, please, Professor, remain calm. You see, I need you again. Watch out! We are keeping uh, and I don't know how to swim, you uh, idiot. I might drown. Uh, oh, please stay calm, won't you? I'm here just to help you. Yeah, always you, always you. I ought to kill you. I will kill you. I'll face my revolver. I'll find it, my revolver. Oh, professor, Professor, don't get so upset. Just answer one question. Tell me what happens to a guy when he gets bitten by a vampire, and I'll fetch a revolver for you. Oh, oh not that again. I'm sick oh, of vampires. Please. Blast it, blast oh, no. it, vampires. Vampires are important to me, sir. Read this to me, will you? Please read it. No. I told you no. And when I say no, it's no. You're a nice young fella. And believe it or not, I'm convinced. It's all right about my work, then. Oh, of course. You make so much money. It's a very nice living. Ah, uh, those dead ones are boring. But where's the chapter about the live ones? There. There? But I won't translate it. I won't say anything. You're going to act stubborn, are you? Yeah. I know what I'll do. I'll pull the plug out. No. Oh, that'll fix your wagon. No, no, no. Uh, no. Fix I'll... the plug. Fix the plug. <laughs> fix it and I'll read. I swear I'll do it. Start to read. <laughs> Start reading. Hmm. The bite of a vampire's teeth makes a vampire out of the victim. I see. Get on with it. The vampire works during the night hours, roaming around while looking for new victims. And his fellow vampire goes around looking for others. However, most vampires have no recollection what it is they have done. Are you oh, finished? That is all. Thanks. Oh. 
Thank you, Herr Professor. Gehen Sie zum Teufel! Auf Wiedersehen! Auf Wiedersehen! Mama! Hello! Hello! Do you recall our meeting? Uh, no. Am I supposed to? This time, don't be so shy. Why, I've been chasing you all day. Oh, but on another night. Look here, we must see each other. Oh, I know you. You bite next, too. Yes, oh. but you told me. Huh? Come to the cabin, darling. No, the cabin has too many holes. It uh. does. It's the wrong place. Yeah. Look, I'll be waiting for you tonight. Tomorrow, too. I'll wait all week. I've got a watchdog here. Come on now. One little bite, darling, underwater. No, not underwater. Yes. <laughs> what is she, a skin diver? Look, we're going to meet tonight and tomorrow and all next week. <laughs> I want a bite now. Uh, no, no, not underwater. My teeth get rusty, so bye-bye now. <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks. Lars, I've been dreaming of you ever since you left my room last night. Another nut? Boy, I really was a busy guy. I went from room to room and came in through their windows. No, you entered lightly. You crept in. I was a bat then. Mm -hmm. I found you at last, haven't I? Oh, not again. Hands off. He's mine, Kay. What's Shh. going on? He's mine, stupid. No, no, brawling. They'll call the director and that's the end. He'll really fire me. One oh, more stay. bite. No, no, let me go. Aren't you ashamed? Who did it? Ah, uh, you didn't. You can sure bet on that. Because you were snoring the whole blooming night. There's another man then. Yes. Oh, he's the only one. Why, he's superb. More than a man. Gwendolyn, are you mad? We'd better talk things over. Last night was so marvelous. But I was marooned in the bath. Leave me alone. Gwendolyn! Better talk. Go Let on. Go, you brute. I see. I'm a brute. But who made those teeth marks there? You better watch it, you hear? Do you have to know everything? I'll say I do. Carla, wait a minute. Papa has consented. Oh, who did? Oh, now, why, I've consented. Carla, don't bother with these subterfuges. Papa, what is this about? It's about our marriage. You want to marry someone? Why, he wants you. Oh, yes. Ah? Uh? Victor. I seem to recall you. Poor little Victor. Wanting to marry me. I'm not in love anymore. What's that? I'm now in love with another man. That's impossible. But you, but don't you, but, but, uh, uh, Leticia, do you realize what Carla's doing? We're changing her mind, now ruins everything. I'm not interested. Because, Luigi, I also am in love with someone. What? Well, the, the whole... Lelina, what are you doing to the crosses? Leave them on. What's wrong, Val? You must stop painting, Lily, dear. I told you to leave them alone. Come over here. Why'd you do that? Please, let me. I smell no garlic. Hmm, so I see. That's the way you obey all my orders, huh? Oh, no, dear Baron. I obey you promptly, as you know. But when it really seems to be just mischief, forgive me, sir, it spoils the looks of the place. No, no, no. Why won't you listen to me? I want you to put two cloves of garlic and two crosses in your house. Say you'll do it. I'm not going to, no. One garlic and one cross, then? Uh-uh. <laughs> Very well. All right, then, Lily, get out there. Oh. I'm not joking. I'll oh, fire you. You don't mm -hmm. mean it. And in addition, you can leave the grounds today, Lily. Pack up and go. It's fine with me if you go someplace far away. Someplace so far I won't see you again. I see. Go on, then. Yes. Yeah. I shall go. Scat. I'm leaving forever. Mm. Wait a second. Lelina? Lelina? Fine thing. Take one head of garlic and one cross and place them both on your windowsill, Lily. <laughs> Pretty. But she won't listen, she won't listen. 
are, big babies you are. I'm as worried as you are, but vampires don't exist. Oh, no? What about this mysterious book, then? Well, what are you talking about? Ich bin Vampir. I don't know German, but Vampir in any language means vampire. It's an outrage. All the guests are complaining. You sold us a castle with a vampire in it. It was a swindle. I swear it's not true. When I handed over the castle, we had a few lizards, a few black beetles, and a few rats, but vampires, no. And how do you explain that story, sir? All our guests saw a vampire last night. And mind you, 42 women. His mark is on 42 women in the same place, too. I make it only 32, not 42. Listen to me. Now either show us this vampire, or we'll denounce you for swindling and put you in jail. Commander, I wouldn't swindle anybody. As it's clear you won't trust me, I'm through. Are you going to leave us then? Yes, I will leave this historic home, sir. It's better for everybody, including me. Look, my boy, you won't leave until the vampire's been found and caught. But listen, Director, the vampire will see that I'm planning to go, so he will leave too. You obviously don't know vampires. But I see you know your vampires. No, no, Commander, I was just guessing. Just listen. guessing? I have a plan. Listen. Hmm. We'll leave the castle, but we'll telephone. And when the monster has gone, we'll come back. No, no you don't. Wait. You're not leaving. Not till that vampire's been found and put to death. See anything suspicious? No, but I'm keeping an eye out. We better look again. Wait, want some garlic to ward him off? Nah, garlic is for the stomach. I prefer these. your things? Oh, uh, no, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, you're trying to run away. Director, please let me leave. I have an appointment at midnight, sir. You'll break the appointment then. Come on, you're going with us to catch the vampire now. Let me go before something else happens and makes it worse. Not a chance. You're better off if you're right here with me. Follow me. All right. What is this? Come on, it's late. Oh! Are you... Are you... Really? The vampire? Yes. But I am Sir Vampire. Say it properly. Yes. 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 Uh, Sir Vampire. That's yes. much better. Please, sir, don't bite, will you? Oh, I should bite you, put teeth into you. Why, that nose oh. alone puts me off. I'd be afraid of poisoning. Sir. Yes, thank you. Thanks. Beard's not. Oh, say, wait a minute. A bite? No, but... Uh, you're really a big worry. Putting off the decision's no good. Very quickly, it goes from bad to worse. You. You mean you're the director? Yes, yes. No. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. yes. You're not the director here. You know your way around this castle? Yes. No, 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 no. no. You know nothing at all about this castle. Come, I'll show you. All right. What's the matter? Are you worried? Getting scared, huh? <laughs> Think you know this castle, you? Here is a lion. 
free. Yes. No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what is it then? We shall make sure. Huh? <laughs> and are you lucky there are no crocodiles down there tonight? Huh? Hey, Director. Wait, get a move on. Calm down, pal. Oh, sure. I'll be calm at the witching hour. I'll do all right once I get out. We'd look great if anybody walked in, you know. Ooh. Adventurous, aren't we? I'm going back to find the girls. Oh. Paolo. Yes? Who's that fella? Come on now. It's late. That's enough. We gotta get moving. One glance is like a thunderbolt. I hope they will wake up again. No sign of the vampire up there. Where else can he be? Search the attic, now for the cellar. There they are. His first victims. Now we can't leave them here. You wake them. I want to take a look around. I know he's hiding somewhere in this room. I think he's hiding over there. What's the use of looking, Victor? We searched and we searched. And what good did it do, huh? He won't be found either. These vampire stories aren't true. They're just trumped up anyway. Then explain how Carla got those marks in her neck last night. Oh, no, this vampire exists. And I'm gonna find him. Oh, that may be so. But like that fellow up there, what's his name? Um, is St. Thomas. Well, I want a good look, too. For that matter, dear Victor, just let me meet a real vampire. I'm almost hoping to see one face to face. And then I know what I'm going to do. May I ask, sir? Yeah? Huh? Say you confront this fellow face to face, just what is the plan? What is the plan? Yes. <laughs> I know I'd smash his head. Oh, oh no! Victor! Help! 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 What is it? Quick! Victor! Victor! What? There! There! The, the, the painting! The, the vampire! The vampire! The, look! Look! There's nothing there. He's not in there? No, sir, he isn't. But I know he was! I know I saw the vampire there! I know what I saw! There he is! Let's get him! this late hour. Can't you guess? No, I can't. You sent me away. What do you want from me now? I want you to stay. Forget what I said to you before. Your place is here, close to me, very close to me, Lelina. Then you've changed your mind? Did you really think I could go on living without my Lily? Oh, dear Baron, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so kind. Oh. Huh? When faith and true love exist, huh? the powers of darkness must yield. Huh?
Joyce Bentley. Tell me, I must know, did I say anything strange? You don't recall? No. Baron, you asked me to come back and be friends. Was that all I said? Open this door! But Baron, why are they shouting so? They're looking for me. Really? Yes, yes, but I'll explain it to you later. When I come back... Then use the secret door. It's near the stairs. I know. Thanks, Lily. One moment, please. Calm yourselves. There was a word you mentioned just now, something absurd, ridiculous, incredible. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? You're speaking of Vampires? He's the vampire. Yeah. Gentlemen, are you joking? If he is a vampire, well, then I am one too. And that's the truth. Can't you keep quiet? Shut up, you. Can you believe that this fellow here might be a vampire? He became a terrible bat and flew up no, the wall, no. sir. His teeth are a vampire's. Yellow fangs, sir. But my teeth aren't long. I can show you teeth that... Enough. <laughs> if this is the evidence on which you'd accuse him, you're wrong. But we know that he hypnotized our wives. Yes. And they're next to it, and I can show you the marks. Victor, what's wrong, darling? The shouting woke us up. Just what are you men trying to do? Vanished. What is this? Why would I have marks on my neck? I'm going upstairs. Carla, will you swear it was just hallucination? But I don't even know what I'd be swearing to. And what is the matter with you, Luigi? That's a lucky break, I must say. Mm, better not talk. Do you still want to marry me? But you know I do. That is a foolish question. I seem to grow more and more in love. But yesterday you said you were in love with someone else. Oh, Victor, what a lot of nonsense. <laughs> Carla, shall we go up? I'm so sleepy. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. And you? Aren't you going to bed at all? You come with me. I don't know what's going on. Oh, everybody knows there aren't any real vampires, only those trumped-up stories. Uh... But, Commander, you saw them yourself. It was a shadow, Victor. Playing a cheap trick on us, that's all. Why, once when I was at Monte Catini, I was sure there was a whale sleeping on my cot. And you know, it was my own reflection in one of the windows. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes, that's the truth. But I mean, sure it is. Mr. Weston, knowing who he is. How could I tell you? Why are you on your watch? I found you marks on your neck. You're surprised. Strange. I'm more surprised that you could believe in anything as ridiculous as this. In this year of grace, <laughs> do you believe in the existence of vampires? 
Believe there are vampires? Me, sir? Oh, it's just childish superstition. There. Yes, but what did we see on our vampire hunt? It flew like a bat and wore a black cloak. Hmm, there's that cloak again, Commander. What's that? Now listen. That's the sort of nonsense you tell a child. Commander, I'm surprised at you. Do you believe that there are witches too? <laughs> you think they exist? <laughs> hmm. Are there any, sir? I'm convinced you're all the victims of a collective hallucination. There. An hallucination. The hunt's off. There is no vampire. <laughs> That's fine. It's all okay. Delighted you were able to soothe my clients. I'm very much obliged to you. He's my uncle. The one on the Habsburg side. I'm grateful to you both. Thank you. There he is! He's our bloodsucker! I saw him! I know he's the vampire! I'll kill him! Commander, look what he's done to me! I tell you, he's the vampire! Aha! So he's the man who invented the vampire. Why, he hoped that his plan would frighten us all away. But it is you! Didn't I see your long vampire teeth? Ah, uh, stop, I tell you. You see, sir, he's crazy. What do you want, huh? See my teeth? See, Commander? Look, look. I'm sure I saw them. I know what I saw. A maniac. Out of here. You're fired, you. I'll let you go. Your behavior has disgraced the hotel. Right. Your behavior stinks. You're sacked, sir. You hurt us. We can't have you disgracing the whole hotel. Uh, you were trying to ruin us. A man asked for a room, and if he's a tall man, you begin babbling vampire. And who is it who comes to us, huh? Throw him out, I say. Yes. And quite devilish. The cloak, the fangs, it all fits the part. I tell you, he even brought along a, a coffin. Oh? There are no vampires, I know, but you did bring a coffin with you. I did. Then it was you who... Yes, mm. yes. But then you're a... Silence. I'll return to what I was before I got here. I'd have slept in peace for eternity. You, you forced me to return. But, Uncle, did it, did it, did it? Yes. You shouldn't have bothered that girl. My thirst is unendurable again. Baron! Baron! No. Not Lelina. No. save her. Wake up. Wake up, Giovannino. Wake up. Wake up, please. You have to so Uncle gets into his coffin. Giovannino, start to sing. Please try. You're a nice cock. Sing, Giovannino. Giovannino, crow, try. Look, Giovannino, I know it's not sunrise, but do a favor for Lelina just this once. You needed my help or you'd be eaten by now. They wanted to wring your neck. And who helped you then? Listen, you've had it made for seven years, but now we're the ones in a jam. So get started. Start singing. That's the fellow. Go on. Start. You rotten chicken. Well, I'll fix you. Giovanni, in a hurry, or you'll be starting too late. Listen, just give one cheap, cheap, Giovanni. You've got to begin the minute the sun rises. But you're late. Start crowing, Giovanni. See the way the sun shines. So you won't sing, eh? I'm going to show you. She's a 
pretty girl, too. Why don't you show her that you like her? Why don't you crow a little for her, huh? Jovanino, remember, I get nasty. Don't be stubborn, I warn you. You're not a cock, you're just a capon, see? Thanks, Giovannino. Melina. <laughs> we saved her. up now. You're all right. You're with me. Osvaldo. Osvaldo, oh, my she own. she called me her Osvaldo. I love you, Baron. What? Not Baron. Osvaldo. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, oh, darling. Osvaldo, I've been so frightened, you know. Well, what were you afraid of? What could frighten my little Lily, huh? Well, huh? I was on the stairway, huh? and then I walked right into this... Oh, man, he scared me so he must have been a, a real vampire, no? Oh, a vampire. Do you mean it? Are you really scared of them? But vampires don't exist, I swear it. Oh, you won't be comfortable there. Lily, from now on, think only of us and our love and be happy. Because you're marrying me, darling. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. but I was only a gardener here. Your parents are likely to cut you off. Oh, but luckily, I have no parents. You have an uncle. Oh, well, he won't care. His visit was so short, and he's departed. He'll make no trouble. He writes he wants his baggage. I'll send his trunk by rail. Happy Lily? <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> oh, yes. Baggage car's been held up, sir, so we must wait about five minutes more. It goes right through? Yes. You must wait for it. Uh-huh. Excuse me. So? Now everything's settled, and I'm afraid you're going to have to leave us, Uncle. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It may be all your fault that Lily and I will be married and owners of the hotel in time. You know, I meant it with that hammer and stake. Uh, I wanted to kill you. <laughs> Still, I didn't do it. It's that conscience of mine, huh? <laughs> well, still you are related to us, and you also are a Habsburg on my mother's side. Uncle. Uncle, are you listening? Say, you're very warm-blooded, so we'll send you down where the temperature is cold. Do you want to go there? A night could last for six months there, and say, a fella can keep busy down there. Hmm? Bravo. Hmm. You have a great imagination. <laughs> you were in your coffin, Uncle. Dear nephew, for 400 years I've been getting in and out of these coffins. Huh? That's right. I'll confess. The idea of the pole is fine. Yes. But alas, another destiny awaits me. Oh, yes. The professor said it was so. That vampires eventually turn into ashes, sir. Oh, please, uncle, not here. Do me a favor. If you have to burn, please, we will wait a while. <laughs> oh, God. You made a mistake. No ashes? No. There is my destiny.
Vampiro dal nero mantello, di notte tu succhi nel collo, le donne di giovane età. La gula, la gula, la gula, sei forte, sei nero, sei bello. Hmm, tonight's feature reminded me so much of how important a family can be, especially a vampire family. <laughs> I mean, you always have a place to hang your cape <laughs> at the end of a long, fruitless, fruitless, fruitful night. It depends on the hunt, hmm, Boris? <laughs> well, we hope that you enjoyed tonight's feature film with Sir Christopher Lee in Uncle Was a Vampire. And until next time, keep screaming. <laughs>